Physical assaults targeting American citizens of Asian descent have been on the rise in the U.S. Some members of the New York community believe racism against Asians will remain no matter who wins the upcoming presidential election, but hope to make a change through communal efforts and participation in politics. TVB News went to New York to look into the issue. 60-year-old Malaysian Chinese Zhang Minshun has been living in the U.S. for more than two decades. Despite calling the country his new home, this was what he experienced three years ago on the streets of Manhattan. Recalling the events of that night, Zhang said he was taking the subway home after dinner, and the punches came before he was even aware what was going on, waking up later in hospital. These were the results of the assault. Zhang said the attacker was masked at the time and believes the motivation behind the assault was racism. The Malaysian Chinese immigrant still suffers from trauma and still fears leaving his home at night. Over the course of the pandemic, physical attacks targeting Asians in the U.S. increased. Some believe the assaults were motivated by then-President Donald Trump's comments on COVID-19 originating from China. Let's go, kid. Some members of New York's Asian community formed community patrols to protect residents. DTT, the founder of one such group, said racism against Asians in the U.S. has noticeably dropped compared with the pandemic period, but discrimination still exists. He believes no matter who wins in November's presidential election, the Asian community's problems will remain unless its own members step up and take charge. Susan Zhuang, a Chinese-American member of the New York City Council, noted that besides physical and verbal attacks against the city's Asians, they also face discrimination in the workplace. She said many Americans still think the Asian community will remain quiet when faced with injustice. But times have changed. They are now more forthright in voicing the truth. Currently, there are around 24 million Americans of Asian descent. Around 60 percent of them are registered voters.